Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Yeah, we're looking at about 13 miles an hour. <laughs> this is a Pluggy 619 treadmill motor with one of the props I carved to put on it. Freewheeling right now, there went 17 miles per hour wind. That's back down to about 7 and 8. Kind of staying right around 10, down to 6. So they're relatively quiet, below 10 miles an hour. They get up there in the higher winds, you start hearing them a lot more. I'm going to show you how to keep your prop a little quiet. Now right here on this prop, you'll see the end right here, it's square. Plus I left the holes drilled in here. Pretty good demonstration for how much noise will slow your blade ground. Every form of energy that presents itself has a loss of the power going to the uh, motor. This one's about three inches longer than the other prop. You can really hear these blades. If you get up into them higher winds, it's going to make some noise. Rounding the ends, sharpening the trailing edge. <laughs> Got some decent wind here right now. That one up there definitely needs a furling mechanism. It also needs some wires hooked up to it. And we can stick it to a battery and give it a load. Overspeed projection is very important. I want you to hear this again. Here we go, people. Don't do this at all. Mainly for demonstration purpose only. These props are stuff I carved just so I could show you things. Now that I got something, I'm going to put some more power down at my shop. That one there is going to Cluggy 619. We're going to get some power readings on it, maybe on this too. Well, okay, we got a battery here at 12.56 volts. 12.56 volts. All right, well, I got it shorted out. It's got some long trailer wire with some, with some resistor on it. Yep, ain't enough to stall it out. Well, it's not freewheeling right now. It's going through that wire, wired up backwards, so I'm putting the negative over here and the positive over here. And she's picking up speed. Let's see what the voltage says. 12.45, 44. And the wind's picking up. I'll take this off, watch what the voltage is. 12.46. Kicking it back on, seems to go down. All right, there we go. We're looking at 2.5. Going back down to 2. Crank up to, uh, it's almost 4 amps a, sec uh, a minute ago. Yep. Anyway, this is straight through the amp meter. This is nothing but amps. It's not with the voltage, so you can't multiply that. Well, I think this one up here needs a shorter prop so we can get some more RPMs anyway. That way it'll reach charging voltage a little bit quicker. So we're going to change the prop for Cluggy. It was a nice test prop anyway. Plus the rounded edges on the tips so that it got a lot quieter. A lot quieter than all, everything else. Another way that you got to curve the front of the blades and you got to sharpen the back end of the blades to make them quiet. Plus the tips have to be rounded. Well, that's really not that loud. That's great. <laughs> Spinning nice though. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Well, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Well, we got the tape drive motor up here after stealing the tail off of Pluggy 619s. There we go, I just unshorted this. But anyway, let's short it up. It slows down, stalls out completely. Let's open it up. Got the battery down here. 12.58 was a 12.42 a minute ago. Well, let's help it speed up just for the giggles of it. There we go. It's not connected to the battery. I just touched it to help it spin up. Now it's going to speed up. Battery still at 12.57. Now it just caught lift and took off. This is what I like to do. This is why I like watching drop spin up catch that lift. Now you got all sorts of power that you wouldn't have had in a straight blade. This is what that Venturi curve does for you. 
It allows it to cut the air several times by going fast. To get the right angle of attack on the blade, due to the speed of the blade and the speed of the wind, it kind of comes pr across pretty much at the angle that you see on the blade. This is a 4.5 tip speed ratio. That means that 10 mile an hour wind, the tips are doing 45 miles an hour. All right, I'm going to connect it to the battery. 12.57. Now it's connected to the battery. I'm at 12.71. Climb it. Now, well, she stayed right there now. So she's putting something into the battery. I'm going to go ahead and fill up at about 12.7. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up for amps to find out what my amperage is. Gonna wear out finger eating guitar string special. Mm. All right, if you look down here, I got 12.51 volts on the battery. Well, that's the test lead from the battery. This little clamp, it runs over here to this blocking diode. It's about a 40 amp. I don't think this motor's gonna do more than that, especially in the wind we got anyway. The wind has died down. If I take this and touch it to the side because it's grounded the out, you hear it speed up a little bit. We're looking at this, it dropped the voltage a little bit. Yeah, 12.49. Then you're gonna watch, listen to it drop back down. Still 12.49. The blocking diode is keeping the battery from running the tape drive motor. How many RPMs tells you exactly how much voltage you got. You got so many RPMs per volt. So anyway, right now, that's probably running about 3 volts RPM. But you see the battery staying up and the battery's not being used to power it. That's the good thing about the blocking diode. When the RPMs of this gets above the 12.51 on the meter, let's watch it. I think it's about to. There we go, 12.59, 12.6. You see it's kind of dancing around. Then the blades will slow back down. Well, it looks like it's staying steady at 12.53. You put two points of a volt into the battery on a charge. So it did pretty good. I blew the fuse on the amp meter. Don't have another one with me, so we're not going to see any amperage. Kind of a letdown for me. Yeah, she's down about five or six volts worth of RPM right here. Now it's down to about three. But it's still cutting the wind real good and the lift is taking over. This will stay spinning all the way down to about four or five miles per hour pretty consistently on its own because right now it's freewheeling. Once it gets above the battery voltage, then it gets a little bit of drag. So that's a good thing. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Sorry I didn't get to show you everything I wanted to on this, but uh, it was some decent testing. Many good things to you and yours. Come on down here. I've got this shorted out, that's why it's spinning slow. I'm going to unshort it. We're going to unshort it. That's going to spin up. I've got the diode, blocking diode down here. You're going to see this take off pretty quick. Well, it says 13.27. Now it's starting to climb. 13.3. Well, here's what I was saying earlier. We're looking a little higher. You win, German. Yeah. Short it out like this, make it stop. Your prop is probably too big. That shows efficiency in the, uh, the motor or alternator that you use. Set it back up over here. If I ever needed to spin it up, I can go like this. Connect the motor across the battery. That way the motor is actually spinning the blade up until it starts catching. 13.5, 13.9, 14A, up to 15. This battery's full already. It didn't run very long, so I'm going to go ahead and short this back out. 
purling mechanism is something that you really need. This one really needs a purling mechanism. But being able to short it out and slow it down, save your wind turbine in the higher wind. It doesn't take much. We got about 17, 15, 17 mile an hour winds up and down. If I let this off, I'll let you see how fast it speeds up. Short it right back out. One, two, three, four. All of a sudden you'll see it accelerate really fast. That's when it gets to the right takeoff angle. Right there. Bam, it just got lift. That's the extra power that you get for having a Venturi curve on it. Rather than just a flat blade. Let's see what kind of open bolt you got. There's 16, 17. 19. So it's above the battery voltage. For ever so many uh, volts above the battery voltage, it, the battery drags it down by drawing amps. It takes it back down to the battery voltage. When the battery gets full, the voltage will start climbing very easily because it's above capacity. There's 24 volts. Very good. I'm Scott Brown Greenway, another home energy. Many good things to you and yours. Time to short it out. Didn't take long, did it? That's over speed protection. Say hello, Boomer. Hey, folks. How's it going? Boomtown Laboratories. Louisville, by gosh, Texas. I'm Scott Brown. Raymond Head. Many good things to you and yours. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If it gets above too many amps, the wire won't handle it, but that's all right. For now, we got plenty of bar. Yeah, we can turn it sideways. It's low enough. Get out of the way. All right. That's the way to give your shadows some snow. I'm talking about this thing. Yeah, I need the, I need the light. Oh, you need work? the light? Yeah, it works good with the light. Okay. There you go. All right. Here. I'm wasting the battery here. Ugh. I got nothing. 